Hey guys and welcome back. So I tried to angle the camera down a little bit so that you can see my attempts at how to use these lovely water beads to make a stress ball with a balloon. Um, <clears throat> I have not quite figured this part out yet, but I found a balloon after going on a wild hunt throughout my house. Um, it would definitely be easier if I had two people here so that one of them can hold while I the other stuffed. But I am going to attempt <laughs> to open the balloon and drop some of these suckers in without squishing them. So you see, I got all of these lovely little gel um, squishy balls. And I know this is a horrible angle because my fingers are, oops, I just, never mind, I just ruined that balloon. Okay, we'll try a different balloon. Ugh. Okay, <clears throat> so balloon number two, because I poked my finger right through the last one. So um, I gotta take this thing that allows me, you know what, maybe I should do that first. I don't know how that would work. Okay, so I was thinking if I blew it up, and this is a confetti balloon, so you can see the confetti. Hopefully this doesn't pop, because I'll end up with confetti everywhere. I was thinking maybe if I blew it up, then I could easily drop things in, but as, as soon as I open it up to let things drop in, they're gonna go everywhere, so, or the air's gonna come out. Yeah, just like that, so never mind on that, that idea. Okay, attempt number two at, oh, this one's a lot tighter. Okay, I am attempting again to drop these suckers in without, it's, so it's gonna be mixed with the lovely confetti from these confetti balloons. All right, so like I said before, definitely probably easier with somebody else helping you, but <clears throat> we are attempting um, almost unsuccessfully to cram a bunch of these little gel balls, whoops, I'm almost losing them now, they're falling, they're bouncing into a balloon in an attempt to create a stress ball. That was one of the ideas from their website. And that's one of the things that I said, I have no clue how to use these things or what to do with them. So we're seeing what we can do. Okay, so we're getting some in there. See, you can see them now. They're in there, some. I have no clue how many of these suckers I'm gonna have to cram in here. So what I'm wondering in doing this is I know that when you squeeze them, they pop. How long is a stress ball made with these things in there going to last? Um, I know that even just sliding them in around between my fingers here as I'm trying to hold the balloon open, um, even as I'm doing this, I've popped some of them, I've squished them, and they're not gonna be very um, good for relieving stress when you squeeze it. Um, see, oh, that's the confetti side. Hold on, let me turn back over here so you can see the, there they are, they're in there. All right, gonna keep cramming. Gotta, I gotta slide my fingers out a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so still working, still shoving them in. Um, if you have ideas on <laughs> how to do this in a more effective manner, please share, oops, please share, because obviously my attempt is very interesting. Um, I'm gonna pause, whoops, there's another one goes falling. I'm gonna pause this for right now while I continue cramming, and as soon as I'm back, I will unpause and I will show you the results of it. So hang out, sing, dance, do whatever, oh, you won't even notice the difference. I'll be right back. I'm back. <clears throat> I learned a few things while trying to stuff my stress ball with the gel beads that are like Orbeez um, in my confetti balloon. Um, I learned that rather than trying to pull it apart like this and cram your fingers in it and hold it open, um, you see, they all fit nicely right there in the neck of the balloon and then just slide them on down. They pop back up because I'm at the end, but a lot easier than trying to hold it open with your fingers. My fingers were going numb on me. So um, if you have a wide enough, um, I was gonna say colander, but that's not it, um, funnel. If you have a wide enough funnel that you can put this around, maybe that might work. Um, 
I don't know that any of my funnels I have in there right now are quite wide enough for that. But I have added a sufficient amount, I think, to create um, a stress ball. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of air in it, just so that you have something to squeeze, hopefully without popping. Just a, no, because then that, that won't work, Never mind. Not that much, just a tiny, tiny bit. So I got a tiny bit of air in there. Make sure you don't put a lot because then it won't squeeze. Um, and I'm tying it off now. I'm attempting to tie it off now. Okay. Okay, got it tied. Okay. <clears throat> so you see, I still have a little, little pocket of air in there that they're trying to bounce up between. But now I've got enough that I can squeeze. Ooh, you can feel them sliding between your hand. So far, I don't feel any of them popping because of the air that is in there. Try not to use my fingernails to pop it. But you see, a DIY textured stress ball that is honestly oddly satisfying, even with the confetti. So, okay. So I guess win on that end. Um, that's one way you could dispose of these things for how long, I don't know, but there you go. Um, so go get some dollar store balloons and have your kids poke a bunch of them in and then everybody can have their own stress ball for cheap. Considering you get 50,000 of these little suckers in this container, um, so yeah. Um, check out the, if you missed the video where I was actually sharing this and saying, what do I do with this big old monster tub? Um, make sure you check out the description below because I'll have a link back to that video. Um, I'm going to go attempt something else and see how it looks. And if it looks good, um, I might make another video on it. I don't know. I, I might just take pictures of it. So check out the written, um, the description, the Check out the link in the description below to see the written review, to see all the pictures of things. I'll take a picture of this and put it on there as well. Uh, maybe might even do a little DIY how-to of how to make these with these suckers. So um, check that out. I'll have all of that in the description below. Um, give me a like. Make sure you subscribe. Check out other things that I would try out and other things that I do with the kids and on my own. Right now the kids are all at school, so mom's experimenting and playing. And um, come back again soon and see what else there is. Thanks for watching. Bye.